Ingoa. Kia ora, ko Finza Haida, Toku Ingoa. Kia ora, ko Fate, Toku Ingoa. Kia ora, ko Sayuki, Toku Ingoa. Kia ora, ko Nino Shore, Toku Ingoa. Now my Hayere mi Hayere mai ki niu tera ni ko te tumana ko he pai tora i a koe i a koe i a o tera ni i roto i a o tera oa ka oha matua i te honga me te hongi me pehe ato a atu ki nga hongi ki te hongi pehia e koe to ihu me te rae me te ihu me te rae o te tangata e mihi ato ana koe. So today I will teach you guys some basic sentences from New Zealand language that is called Maori. So the first sentence is hello. How you, how can you say hello in Maori? So you can just say tena koto. And next is why uh, how can you say my name is you want to tell them what is your name? You can just say ko your name and taku ingoa. So the example is ko atilia to taku ingoa. It means my name is Atilia. So next is you want to ask someone, you want to ask some help from someone to find some places, you can just ask Tenakua, Awinamai, Kiterapu, and the name of the place that you want. Uh, so, I, uh, so to, you want to find toilet, restaurant, hotel, or convenience store. So, toilets mean warepaku in Maori. Restaurant mean warekai. Hotel means hotera. Convenience store means toa toa. So, you can just insert it in the sentences. So, next, you want to say to them, where are you from? So you can you see Na uh, Malaysia Ahau. It means I'm from Malaysia. So next is thank you for helping me. You want to say to them you thanks them. So you can just say Maruru Kuemo Te Awina Ahau. So next is you want to ask them how much is this? You can just say Ehiatene. You can just ask them. So next, you want to order something, you can just say Kete pirangi ahau kite tono You can just ask like that uh, You want to order cake, pie or water You can just insert it Cake means cake, pie means pie, water means why You can just insert it So next is you want to ask someone to take pictures of you You can just ask Kueta Kwete tango waka ahwa momato things as like that. So next is you want to say it is the best place I have ever been. Uh, so you can just uh, say kwene te wahi paira wa atu. And next is you want to say nice to meet you. You can just say hepa ki te tutaki ki akwe to people at the New Zealand. And you want to say you want to ask where is the place that you want to go. So you can just ask kihate. So, if you don't understand, you can just see at this thing. You can just read it again, and you surely you will understand it. And that's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, and hello everyone. I'm Filza Haida. Hi everybody. I'm Fatih Rosaliha. So today, we're going to teach you four ways how people in New Zealand use their body language to speak with people. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first one is how are you? How 
Ayub. The good thing about this one that it doesn't take three signs for you to do this. Instead, there's only one sign for you to sum it all up and become how are you. So what you do is take out your hands flat like this and then bring it into a thumbs up position and cross your chest. Okay, so it will be like how are you. And when you ask a question, it also helpful for you to raise your eyebrow a little bit to let people know that you were asking question. So it will be like how are you? How are you? The second one is you may want to let someone know that it was really nice to meeting them so you can just say it was good to meet you. So what you do is you have your hands in this position with your pointer fingers up and you bring them closer together as if you are two different people coming together so you just say it was good to meet you. Okay, we've got two more left. Both are like the minutes. Okay, it is I'm sorry. So you can say sorry, I'm sorry by doing a thumbs up on your chest in a circular motion. Doesn't matter which way you go, either this way or this way. So yeah, just do I'm sorry. Then lastly, which is thank you. Now, thank you is very similar to please you. So you start off with your hand on your chin like this. Then we're gonna go with straight up and straight down like that. So you're gonna go thank you. So this is all the signs that we have teach you guys today. I really encourage you guys to try and use them in conversation. Maybe it may seem a little bit weird at first but it's okay. Even if it is a simple thank you, you never know that you can start incorporating them in your daily life. And with that being said, thank you for watching us. We hope you enjoy. Thank you for coming to New Zealand.